First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. <sighs> okay, guys, we back. I'm on this side because I am not moving the shoes. As you can see, I went to the doctors today. I literally, um, like, I, li I it's not even an exaggeration. First things first, before I get into that little story, got my braids back. You already know what time it is. We back. We back. We back. You guys got to know. Come on. I didn't, I didn't miss the no sneakers if I can make some profit, okay? You guys know if there's profit, I'm getting some money. Even if it's like $10, $5, whatever. I'm a cop, especially. It's a sacrifice. Even if I'm going to get a little money, I'm going to still go out my way to get some sneakers if it's a break because I got to get content for you guys. I'm not going to just not give you guys content. And what would I do if I didn't cop these Oreo 5? So you see the title. You see what we get into. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 300 plus subs. As well as check out my new music video on my main channel. It's literally the only link in the description. That and my Instagram is the only link down below. Go check it out. If you're new here as well, comment whatever you want. Um, I respond to all my comments. So let's get right into it. Uh, it feels good to be back. It's going to feel weird because I filmed the old video with my hair not done. So I might post that video first and then post vi this video. So it might be two videos today. Just to get it out the way so you guys are not confused with my hairstyles. But um, either way you put it, you see the title. So let's get right into it and I'll briefly go over this. So what happened, whatever, real quick. Because I know my support, the real ones, they care about me. Because you guys would not subscribe if you didn't care. So let's get right into it. Your boy Little Roy, Little Roy TV is back in business. Let's get it. Alright, so off rip before we get into shoes. I went to the doctors, like I said in the intro. Um, I had to take some blood out. Because it's going to get real busy. I'm finally able to go back to work. That's a blessing in itself. Because at least I'm able to go to my job. And for people that know my job. If you want to know. I love my job. I take care. I do stuff with kids. So like I take care of kids. So I love kids. In the future I plan to have my own kids. Um, but real quick. I had to take a blood test. And you know those little capsules. I had to get four of those capsules full of blood. So I literally passed it. Like I literally, it's not like an exaggeration. Like oh, I passed, I'm tired. No, I literally, my eyes were shutting and I was like faint, like faint. I literally passed out. And the lady was like, oh, shaking me. Like, oh, wake up, hold on, wake up, wake up. We gotta finish. And I was like, I kept talking, but like, you know how you're talking in your sleep? So I was like literally talking while I'm passing. I'm like, it's hot. Like, I, I, like my eyes are closing. I'm telling her exactly what's happening. She could see it, but I'm saying it. So I know for myself, I'm like, yeah, I gotta like, I gotta feel like I'm speaking, like I'm still awake. So I'm like, it's hot, I just need water, I just need something to drink. She's like, did you eat anything? No, like, I'm not thinking I'm coming here to take out, like, my whole damn left arm. Like, this whole left arm is sore because all the blood in my left leg hurts because I guess it's just that left side is numb for today. But I'm gonna get a good sleep today, hopefully. Um, But yeah, I literally passed out. And then, like, they had to, they finished the last one because the fourth one they was doing, and I literally just collapsed. Like, I just passed out. She gave me water. The other nurse was helping, shaking me, just keeping me up, sitting up so I don't faint and hit anything. And then um, I finally woke up and then I kept, like, she kept relieving. Once she finished and took the needle out, you know, she patched me up and I started, like, feeling myself. I had a big cup of water. And then I just got some food right after that. But I still feel a little dim down, so, you know, leave me some good comments, like the video. All I care about is the views on the channel, so keep supporting. Just, you know, show me some love for that. But um, enough of the sob story. If that's not sob, because I'm here with you guys. I have a lot of stuff to film. I know that. So let's get right into it. Um, I do have... I have, like... My inventory is all over the place. I literally have stuff left in my mom's car. So, like, this is the only preschool I got right now in hand that sold. Surprisingly, these preschools... That's why I said sneakers are different. Listen, if you're listening, one thing you're going to get from me and the facts is... I literally just said coming up to prior to when these sneakers drop, I said I'm gonna stop preschool because preschool is like a little high expensive, like eighty dollars, and then it breaks real fast and it doesn't have no profit. For some reason, in these Oreo fives, they sold, and no toddler five sold. At least not for me for the size that I had and the you know the offers I was taking. But I have. One preschool, which is right here, but I overall, I think I got four preschools. I just don't have them with me right now. So, that's the preschool size right here, just in case you guys wanted to see it. I just wanted to show you. And then I got four men's sizes in total. Now, 
Uh, hold on. I hit one, actually two, on two different accounts at JD Sports. If you have a JD Sports, they do in-store raffles as well as the app. So I hit two size 12s. And the other size 12, Um, I think my mom hit on her Foot Locker account. You gotta build your points and build your account. And then I got a size 10 and a half on the bottom. That's for local buyers. And I gotta get that to him immediately because he been basically hitting me up to let me like you know to meet up so I can get his pair but you know typical box for these new fives now just like the sixes they have the flip open box i just want to show you typical black box but the difference is it got like that oreo cookies and cream colorway like i said it's the size 12 right there boom see it does that flip regular cement paper i never really looked at the shoe but it's funny how i made profit off these shoes and like they're sitting in stores everywhere. I don't know about big sizes, but they're definitely sitting in stores. So let's get a quick thumbnail. Real quick for the guys. I don't know how I'm going to do the thumbnail because I am lopsided, but let's get it. Boom. Um, This shoe to me is, like I said, people that know, I'm going to criticize stuff I don't like or if I do like and you don't agree with me. I gotta be honest here, this shoe's ass. If you like it, first and foremost, before you guys start hating and say, oh, F me, dislike the vid, I'm allowed to have my own opinion, just like you are. If you like the shoe, great. I don't care if you like it. That's good. I'm still able to say I don't like it. Don't let me influence your opinion, okay? Don't give me that much credit. This shoe, first of all, I don't like fives. If you guys know my channel, my video history, I don't care about fives. I don't have no fives in my collection. The only five that was possible was the Raging Bulls. And clearly, I didn't keep the Raging Bulls. I sold it. Because it was not... Even the Raging Bulls couldn't get me to keep the fives. Okay? So if the Raging Bulls can't, no fives can. And that's my favorite color, the red. So I just don't like fives. To me, they're just doofy. They're an ugly shape. I don't like this little shark bite. I never liked it, this shoe at all. But... I guess it made me a few bucks, so I'll take it. But if you like these, that's cool. Let me know what you think about them. Did you catch a L on release day or a W? Did you hit on sneakers? Did you go for them on sneakers? To be honest, this shoe like this, I mean, yeah, you want to secure a pair and try to go after it. But like with the with the reservations, you should know if you got your personal size already. So on sneakers, I don't know why this would sell out. I guess people that didn't hit on reservations, they try their hardest to hit on sneakers. Like, you know, not everyone can win. So you got to try what you could try at. But, like, this sneaker is literally sitting in stores. Literally. Like, even the people that's probably won't, that will never see this video that bought these from me. Here's the shoe. And you bought them for over re retail. And you could have, I'm thankful, because, like, you're not, you, you buying it off online, cool. But they're literally sitting in stores. I'm talking to the resellers that are trying to get into it that watch my channel. Go to your mall. If you have capital and you have local customers, pick up some bricks. I'm not holding these at all. They're literally all four men's sizes already sold. Three twelves, one ten and a half, all sold. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about these. Do you like five silhouettes? Do you think these Oreos are overrated or overhated? Or they're just in the middle. Like, you don't care about them. You didn't go for them. Did you guys cop these on release day? Let me know. If you took an L, go in the mall, go in your store. They got them everywhere. Jimmy Jazz, Finish Line, DTLR, Shoe Palace. Somewhere. Somewhere near you in a shoe store, they're sitting. One final look. Like I said, there's not much really to show. You got the fish, wave, bite, whatever they call this right here. Black and white, cookies and cream. You got the tongue. I think that tongue is what? Silver, gray, white? Yeah, it's like a little gray. Actually, it's not even white. And then, you know, they got this little plastic thing they always have on fives. And then typical icy bottom. Nothing too crazy. The back, white. For some reason, this shoe looks better in a bigger size. I like to play some ball in. Looking at it from this angle... It looks like some nice ball kicks. But um, that's it for me, guys, on this video. I know this video is long because I had to explain the story. But by the time you're watching this, like I said, I dropped my new music video. 
So go watch that and go follow me on Instagram, ladies. I'm available, so hit me up on the Instagram DM. I have a lot of videos to film for you guys, right? Because I'm trying to think of creative ways to film. I'm trying to get the channel, or obviously, to 1K so we can do the free giveaway. As well as trying to get us to 500 and all that, all those numbers. We got to hit these milestones. But, um, like I said, I take it easy because, you know, I still feel a little oozy from the, a little oozy, a little doozy from the hospital. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm back. I know I say that a lot because, you know, I take time off if it's necessary. But I'm always going to film content for you guys. So, black and white, Oreo, Jordan 5s right here uh see you guys in the next video thank you for watching your boy little roy is out and peace out see y'all in the next vid i'm out of here